understand this tidal flow of cycles, you need to make a spiritual journey to the constellation of cancer. We close our eyes. We surround ourselves with a rainbow. We feel a tingling through our bodies. We begin to hear celestial music. Before us, we see colored lights. There is a mist, and through the mist we see the outline of a violet mountain. Rising above the mist, crowning the mountain, is the Temple of the Zodiac. Visualize this now. You are traveling through a mist, and above this mist is a beautiful purple mountain. Now, as you begin to rise, you see above it a silvery white temple. You find you can float upwards. Come with me. The temple has soaring columns like trees. The dome above it is pale blue and sparkles and around it is a mighty rainbow and beyond that the constellations themselves. We recognize Polaris, Cassiopeia, the northern constellation. And way to the south we recognize mighty Sirius and Iran and to the east is beautiful Leo like the Sphinx visualize the stars but far nearer you're seeing them as they are spiritually so they have this wonderful colored light and if you listen intently you can hear the sound of the stars we reach the great south gate of the temple which looms above us and it is guarded by two winged female sphinxes. They have bodies, breasts, heads and breasts of women, but below their waist they are lions, couchants, and they have wings that are so high they seem to blend with the stars. We enter the temple. In the center is the perpetual light upon an altar. Right in the center, imagine the perpetual flame, it never goes out, it is the fire of everlasting life. And it is surrounded by a winged bull, and a lion, and an eagle, and a winged angel. We gaze at it with awe and wonder, and it seems to warm us, it's so beautiful. The alabaster floor is encircled by a sparkling stream. The whole of this twelve-sided building has a sparkling stream around it. and beyond the stream are 12 stained glass windows of the zodiac the priest says friends let us approach the window of the constellation of cancer you look around you want to go to your own sun sign but this we are going to visit is that of the constellation of cancer. We approach it and we see it shows a picture. The picture shows a sheet of gold and silver light descending from the sky coiled about a rising blue and violet ocean wave. Visualize this. Looking closer we see that these two waves are composed of descending and ascending life forms rising blue light and violet that's coming upwards and we see every form of life form dolphins you and me anything now the gold and silver coming down shows winged beings and that which is not yet incarnated coming downwards it looks rather like the yin yang sign it's very beautiful 
And we seem to understand that we once descended the silver and gold light, but now, through physical bodies, we are trying to come upwards, and yet the two are one. We'll come back with all the experiences we've gathered on Earth. But suddenly the window is blown open, and we are faced with the constellation of cancer itself. Visualize the stars. Second priestess says, Behold the heaven of Numeroni. There's the binary star Acuben, shining with mingled white and russet radiance. Within its spiritual aegis is the heavenly garden of abundance. Numeroni. This beautiful realm of golden light and happiness is ruled by Rai Rai, goddess of Tahiti. Hear of her, the woman speaks. She is the warm pillar of fire from whom the flock of humanity and all creatures shot into existence. Hidden amidst luxuriant woodlands, the strange body of the goddess is veiled in unfathomable mystery. priestess now addresses the candidates, leave this window now and approach the constellation itself and its spiritual form, which you can do in your spiritual body. Come, rise spiritually into the heaven of Numeroni, within the aegis of the double star Acubens, which has white and russet colour. Within this temple, you find happiness. For what is all the wisdom in the world about happiness? Now, I want you also to ascend into the spiritual sphere of Acubens, of this heaven of happiness, presided over by the lovely goddess of Tahiti, Rai Rai, the warm pillar of fire of love, from which we all, are born. All creatures spring from the heart of love. So rise now with all of us spiritually and find absolutely honestly your own true love in silence. Without love, there is no happiness. Happiness brings deep joy. It is warm. Your heart glows. Here, find your heart's desire. Think of all you have loved in life, not just one person, an animal, a bird. It's always individual person. It's not a great lump masses, is it? Think of a loved face, a voice, especially those in spirit world who are the most grieved for and yet the nearest spiritually, nearer to us than physical presence. But usually we do not approach them. Approach them now. Love comes through vision and through the sound of a voice. It is warmed by music. And it's only through loving someone we know that we can love the goddess whom we do not know. She comes to us through all. Do we recognize her? She may come to us through an ugly person, even someone we dislike. Having thought of our true loves, let us think of people we hate or dislike and find within them the being of the goddess which is within all. With empathy.
life is eternal. Love is eternal. There is no death. There is no loss. Nothing is lost. Nothing that is real and good, for that is forever. It is only we who are blocked off from it by our earthly bodies. Feel this. See your future life enriched with this greater feeling. The more you love, the more you are real. <laughs> There's more of you, not restricted just to yourselves. Okay, love yourself, but feel this greater life. But even as you feel this love and a happiness surges through you, you are called back. Let us return. The priest now addresses the apprentice as we assemble outside the Temple of the Zodiac. You have returned from the Garden of Abundance. What did you experience, both of you? The first speaks, the young man, perfect happiness. I was permeated by a rainbow and joined spirits in a dance to exquisite music. Happiness is its own justification. Without joy, virtue is of little value. The girl spoke. I felt that love must lead to activity. It is through helping other people, throwing oneself into causes, working out a plan and doing it that brings real happiness. I have thought of wonderful things I'm going to do when I get back. Join more protests against destruction of the environment. Oh, said the priestess, that's practical. The two of you will make a very good pair. Both of you accept a coral. Now, I want you to look at the double star in cancer of Acellus Borealis and Australis. Two stars shining with white and red light. The second priestess. Within its penumbra is the heaven of Rarovaya, ruled by the goddess Rata of happiness and inspiration. Otherwise, we're nobody without inspiration. We want to create like the deities. We want to do as well as feel. Here of Rata. Clothed in mist are the offspring of Rata. Spirit-born beings with vision. Pearly as seashells. Winged as seabirds. Dark as the sea serpent. From the profound matrix emerge the phantoms of Rata. Rejoicing in their newborn life and form. She speaks to the apprentice. Sink into this swirling vortex and find the source of your creativity. We shall be with you. And do this yourself. Find the source of inspiration that you can create, not just admire other people's music, painting, writing, and their perfected lives, but true inspiration. What do you most dream of? Here you will find it in the magical realm of Rata. Do you wish to explore the stars? Find out within yourself, what you are capable of. Our past is buried in the earth. Our present 
is upon the planetary surfaces. Our future is in the stars. Find inspiration from their radiation. Where does inspiration come from? Ask before you sleep at night and your spirit is released from your body and you will come back in the morning with ideas, vision, hope and your life will be extended gloriously. doesn't matter what other people think of your work. You rejoice in doing it. But like to like, you will find fellow joy and empathy with those who enjoy what you do as long as you appreciate what they do. <laughs> How mysterious is the world of space. Try and find something that you've always wanted to create and try and visualize here. Feel it. Ask Rata for inspiration. Feel now white tingling power through your head. It's like a shower of starlight right through you and you feel exhilarated, alive, creative. Life is yours to create. And so you feel joy. But even as you feel this serenity of the happy artist in life, you are called back. We come back once more outside the temple of the zodiac. The priestess speaks to the candidates. Well, what happened to you both? The girl speaks first. At last, at last I can see what I want to create. I'm studying as an architect. And I want to get the best of the old and yet create something totally different. Something new belonging to the stars. I'm going in for a competition. I've seen quite clearly what I want to do now. Thank you. And you, to the boy. I shall never be bored again. Within the depths of my own being I found infinity. In my mind, I created masterpieces, hope of works to come, my future books. The goddess's dark streaming hair wound through my dreams. I could have explored her deeps forever. The priest smiled lovingly and gives them both a seashell. Dear friends, accept a seashell. Look at its perfect logarithmic curve, the form of our spiral galaxy. Look up. Friends, all of us gaze upon the constellation of Cancer. It's no good just looking at sun signs on paper. Look at the star. Now you can look at constellation of cancer. Feel all it brings spiritually. Now you feel its radiations will ever come to you at night. Behold the two goddesses, Rai Rai and Rata, one golden, the other indigo blue. Their long hair is interlaced, golden black, and their arms are intertwined. They are encircled by a rainbow, which forms a labyrinth of suns winding through space. And as we look, the 
constellation of Cancer itself fades into a tiny little glimmer as we see the whole zodiac and the stars of our Milky Way form a mighty spiral like a seashell. And we still see the goddesses as mighty as ever, golden and indigo blue, long hair interlaced. Feel and see this divine vision and feel at harmony within yourself. Love and truth are one. Peace and energy combine activity and passivity. Man and woman are one. Darkness and light are one. Time and space are one. Omnipresent deity is within all beings and existences as they emerge from the dark holes of space and become shining constellations. Our own body is made of swirling atoms, constellations, little solar systems of electrons, We see the divine consorts of the goddesses behind them, uplifting them. We feel this harmony and then gradually the mighty spiral galaxy fades from our view and we see once again the constellation of Cancer the divine vision softly disperses into the form of light and this light is within ourselves silver through our heads, brow and throat gold up our spine, sex center, plexus a network of gold around us and great silver branching rays above our head. We are goddess. We are God. In harmony with all that is. Priest says, friends, let us return to the Temple of the Zodiac. We enter through the window of cancer and a wind blows the door shut. We see once again the stained glass. We know its meaning now is the swirling vortices spiraling downwards and upwards in a great coil like yin yang. And we cross the sparkling stream but now we bend and put water on our heads and brows and we feel at peace. We approach the sacred flame, warm our hands at it and feel a glow in our hearts. We feel happy and we slowly process out of the temple and we pass through the great wing sphinxes and now we feel we know what they mean with our tiring wings, angel heads, human bodies, Lana's bodies and we look down and we see a mist and we begin to wind down the hill but we're pleased that the little temple stream is accompanying us, cascading us. We feel a little regret so we look back and we see now only a mist. 
the sacred temple is veiled from our sight. We must return because we have work to do on earth. So we go on following the stream down the hill. And as we reach its foot, we feel something in our hands. We look down and we find our own key to this spiritual world of the stars. Maybe a shell, a coral, a precious stone, an ankh, anything that is our own key. We all hold the key to heaven. Now we begin to be drawn back, back through the sky, back. It is time for you to return and bring back the harmony you experience.